In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Financial Checkup tool. The first thing that you'll want to do is download the latest version of Adobe Reader to your machine. As you can see, this file is opened in Adobe Reader, and that's what the tool is designed to run in. It will not work in programs such as Adobe Acrobat or uh, Preview for the Macintosh. Once you've got the tool opened up in Adobe Reader, you're going to want to click on File, Save as PDF, and save a personal copy to your local machine. So if my name were John Carter, I might just put in John Carter Financial Checkup and then just save that to my desktop. The Financial Checkup tool is composed of nine parts. We're going to look at each of those parts in this video and we'll start with the tracking sheet. As you're using the different parts of the Financial Checkup tool, you can use Adobe Reader's built-in zoom tool to increase the magnification or decrease the magnification as you work through the different sections. The tracking sheet is used to track your expenses and income for one month. Start by putting in the date. If you're making an entry for the current day, just use the plus button and the tool put in the date for you. Or if you're making a backdated entry, you can put your cursor in the field and then use the calendar tool to select a date in the past. Type in the amount of the expense. Uh, type in the category and then a brief description if you'd like. Now for categories that you use frequently you can create 10 cu custom categories in by using the My Categories table. So if I were to type groceries into category 1 when I want to use that category I just type the number 1 in the category column and then tab and the tool will put that category in there for me. When you'd like to return to the main page, just click on the close button in the upper right hand corner. The net worth statement adds up all of your assets and all of your liabilities to determine your net worth. Your assets are tracked in three categories, liquid, tangible, and investment. Your liabilities are tracked in two categories, short term and long term. Start entering the amounts for each of your liquid assets. If you don't have that type of liquid asset, just skip the field and move on to the next one. If there is a liquid asset that you don't see listed, uh, you can use the Type Other Here field to put that in. You can add up to five additional types of assets or liabilities in each group. The income and expense statement is used much like the net worth statement. In this case, you are tracking your total income and total expenses to allow the tool to calculate net gain or loss. The financial ratios worksheet allows you to compute basic liquidity ratio, debt to asset ratio, and debt payment to income ratio. It also provides recommendations for desired values. In the revolving savings section of the financial checkup tool, you will list your irregular monthly expenses according to the month they occur in. The tool will determine the total amount of your regular expenses and divide it by a number of months to determine the amount of money that will come out of your monthly budget and go into revolving savings to cover the time period. To record an irregular monthly expense, click on the month in which it occurs, type in a description of the item, and the amount. You can record up to four irregular monthly expenses for each month.
The Retirement Needs Worksheet will allow you to calculate a retirement goal, determine the amount that you already have available as savings and investments, determine the future value of those current savings and investments, and determine the amount of annual savings that you will need in order to reach your retirement goal. In this section, you will be able to determine the amount of life insurance that you will need to provide income replacement for your survivors, pay for expenses. It will take into account funds that you have from other sources, such as government benefits or income from family members. In the Financial Goals section, you can record your short-term, intermediate, and long-term financial goals. The last section is the Monthly Budget. In this section, you'll track your income, fixed expenses, and variable expenses. Before the month begins, you'll create a budget, which you put into the Budgeted column. At the end of the month, you will type in the exact amount that you spent in each category. And the tool will show you the difference between those two amounts and add up your total income, your total fixed expenses, and your total variable expenses. The financial checkup tool was developed by the Faculty Assistance Center for Teaching at Utah State University.